Cheers. It's time for Bearder. That's right. Another episode. Episode 10. And guess what? Buttery Rick is making his appearance again. And he's bringing his own wing recipe. That's right. We're doing a chicken wing Bearder. Now, there have been a few people in this world, a few lucky people that have been blessed enough to be able to eat these wings, this chicken wing recipe. And every single one of these people have said they are the best chicken wings they've ever had. Raise your hand, click the like button if you've had Papa's wings. So we're gonna show you how he makes them. We're, not, we're, we're gonna give you the whole recipe. You can try it yourself, but you gotta cook it exactly the same way. So we're gonna make Papa's wings. We're gonna take the chicken off the bones we're gonna compile them. We're just gonna mash them onto a bun. We're gonna make a beer batter using Sloop Brewing's DDH Simcoe Bomb New England style IPA. We're only gonna use a little bit. We're gonna drink the rest. Don't you worry, beer freakinados, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna drink this delicious beer, but we are going to use it in the beer batter that we're going to put cheese curds in and ranch dressing. So we're gonna make a ranch beer batter cheese curd topping to go on top Papa's Wings Beerger. And then we're gonna pair it all with Avery Brewing's Uncle Jacob Stout. They don't have an Uncle Papa Stout, that'd be kind of weird, but Uncle Jacob Stout is amazing. This is, this was, this is the 2017 release and back then it was 14.9%. So this beer is a big one. It's a big beerger. It's full of flavor. It's gonna blow our minds with spice and flavor. It's gonna be delicious. So grab your favorite beer and let's go make a beerger. Okay, we're gonna start by chopping off the flapper. Get rid of that flapper. Ain't nobody eats that flapper. We're gonna get rid of that and then we're gonna get ready to throw these babies on the grill. Okay, now Papa's gonna make his special wing sauce. We're gonna use a whole 24 ounce bottle of Frank's Red Hot, because that's what you use. Put a stick of butter in there, make it stand at attention, and add a couple glugs of Worcestershire sauce. Four cloves of fresh garlic. Please use fresh garlic, you got to. Then we're gonna add in his spice blend, a teaspoon of chili powder, teaspoon of paprika, teaspoon of tajin, teaspoon of parsley flake, tablespoon of oregano, tablespoon of crushed red pepper, teaspoon of rick salt, teaspoon of pepper, and a tablespoon of minced onion. And there we go, get it all stirred up in there. Oh yes, beautiful color. Now we're just gonna stir that up till you get all those spices and butter and Worcestershire combined into this sauce and we're gonna cook it till it boils. You want it to get to a boil just like that. Now give it a good stirring and he's talking about garlic here. Yes. Okay. Now let's go ahead and put the wings on the grill. Arrange your chicken wings so that they go onto the grill in the same direction. It just helps you in the long run so you know what's been flipped and what hasn't been flipped and it it looks nicer you know i mean we want things to look nice in life don't we yes yeah, so let's just make our grill look nice with our chicken wings and put them all going the same direction it helps with with ocd too okay now what you want to do is you want to cook those for about 10 minutes on the one side and then when you go to flip one over and you see that they're beautifully gold and brown like that that's when you give them a turn and now we're going to just keep cook the other side so it gets to about the same golden brown and give them a turn again. And that's what you want to see right there. Beautifully golden brown. And you're going to cook those until they're really nice and done. And then we're going to take our sauce and just start painting up. Paint those chicken wings. Make them bright. Look at those. That's such a beautiful color. You know that's some spice. A little spicy color. And we're just going to paint them twice on the first side before you turn them. Just paint them a second time, give them a turn, and then paint them twice on that side. So cook them for a couple minutes, then paint them for a second time again. And now they are ready 
to be painted again on the other side after we give them another turn. And this is just, you're just going to cook them for like another 30 seconds on this side one more time after we've painted them again. And then we're going to go ahead and pull them, off. <laughs> pull them off the grill. And that's what you want to see. I'm telling you, you got to see that. Now we're going to make our beer batter. Take one egg. And then we're going to put uh, a cup of flour. Take our DDH Simcoe bomb. We're just going to put a third, half a cup of that in there. You can use any beer you want. See, we drank the rest. No need to freak out. We're going to take a quarter cup of milk. And let's go ahead and stir up our flour, egg, milk, and beer. And then we're going to take one Hidden Valley Ranch packet. Stir that in there. And that's where we're going to get some of the ranch flavor from into this beer batter. And get that all combined in there. Let's take some more ranch and let's just, yep, yeah, give it a second glug yep that's what we do so get 350 degree oil going grab your cheese curds throw them in the beer batter throw them in the oil it just takes a few minutes then give them a turn and then let them sit in there for another minute or two and then they are ready to be pulled out and then once you pull them out just give them a little dash of salt so you see here we just dredge them into that beer batter and carefully put them into the oil and now they're done so we're going to take our chicken wings. Now we're just going to take two forks and shred them up. And here we go. Let's put the shredded chicken wing onto the bun. Oh, that's great looking. Let's add some more. And now let's take our cheese, our fried ranch beer battered cheese curds and set them right on top of that chicken wing. Be careful because it, it it wanted to jump off of this burger, and that's okay. It was afraid. It knew what was going to happen in its future. Now we're going to take some of Papa's wing sauce. We're going to add a little extra on top, and we're going to take oh more hot sauce and put it there. And oh, there's some more hot sauce. <laughs> oh, good God! Now we're going to take a little bit of ranch dressing and just give it a ranch drizzle. Don't you want to just give everything in life a ranch drizzle? Then we're gonna put the top of the bun on and now we're gonna give it a turn, show its pretty side, and now we're gonna cut it in half. You know the routine, pull it apart, and there we go. No, we're not gonna win any beauty awards with this sandwich. That's not what this is about. The first time we've taken the, the meat right off the bone and put it on a sandwich. We usually just toss it in our mouth holes and chew it up. Yeah, and hopefully pull the bone out. A little bone, <laughs> Never mind. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Buttery Rick is back, episode 10, and he made his wings for you. Click the like button because you know these are the best chicken wings. And like I said earlier, very few have tried these wings, but the ones who have, have literally said, and this is not a lie, this is not an exaggeration, that these are the best chicken wings they've ever had in their entire life. Yeah, they even want to hire me to come cook for them. So, what do you say? Let's try it. All right. What do you think about those cheese curds? Oh, those are really good. Have you ever had cheese curds before? No. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. Mmm. It's so spicy. But it's perfect, though. Yeah. It's the right amount of spice. So that you sweat and your mouth hurts just a tiny, tiny bit, but you keep going back for more. But with that little bit of burning, then we go to what this is going to go with, right? Let's try to oh, see this, what it pairs with. Yes. This this will make it your mouth water. Avery Brewing, Uncle Jacob Stout. Cheers. Cheers. And that takes the burning away. It brings a whole nother taste. <laughs> whole nother burn. Yeah. Ooh, that hits oh, you in the good. yeah. Hits you in the corners yeah. of your mouth. That actually makes the hot sauce kick in again. It, it does, does it? Wow. <laughs> if you're sweating oh. and you drink this, you sweat a little bit yeah. more. Oh. Mm. If I hadn't shaven, the, the hair would have came off anyway. This stuff is pretty good. What did he say? To, <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll leave that one alone. <laughs> I'll leave that to your imagination. Mm -hmm. His mouth is burning, so he's having problems talking. <laughs> it really is. It there, really is a, on fire. It's a, it's a medium 
slightly hot wing. It's not it's not a hot wing, but it's medium. It's a spicy hot, medium. No, no, it's definitely a hot wing. It's like a spicy meat the bottom. <laughs> so, click the like button, subscribe to Beerger because you're going to see more buttery Rick's recipes. You're going to see more of my recipes. You're going to make these chicken wings. Click the like button if you may if you're gonna make these chicken wings. I wanna know and I wanna know how they taste. So comment below after you make these after you make these wings. So as always, be generous in life and you say and with your beer And with your beer Cheers. Cheers.